Hi Virgo, welcome to Key Wisdom Tarot. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This Virgo is your September love reading, <coughs> excuse me, for the month of September, obviously. And I'm going to draw six cards initially, each one related to the first six emanations of the Tree of Life. I developed this reading for you last month and they were very popular. Okay, Tiny is in attendance today. He's a apparently licking himself. Hello, tiny dog. Okay, so we're going to get started. <coughs> Excuse me. The readings have been coming out really, really, really good, actually. Um, I've really enjoyed them, and I'll let you know, um, you know, what card means what, basically, as we go. Interesting energy this month. The moon is pretty prevalent. Um, I'm connecting quite strongly with the moon energy, so if you... Um, know what your moon sign is i definitely recommend you um checking out that video as well okay so let's have a look shall we virgo bye tiny dog this is the first one that wants to come out virgo and this is your um overall energy or focus for this month so um it looks like there's going to be some changes actually this month for you guys um or potentially some changes um so let's have let's look at the next card the next card is what or who um, you could encounter or experience this month. The third card is your... That's not the third card. Your third card is your perspective, um, i.e. where you're coming from or your past. Your fourth card is your love potential for this month or who's coming towards you or your love lesson. You know, what you need to learn about your love karma, for example. And um, your that's your fifth card your fifth card is your challenge <clears throat> excuse me and your sixth whoa <laughs> there's a lot of advice for you this is your sixth card which is advice there's a few other cards that want to come out that one wants to come out i feel like that one wants to come out and this one wants to come out so i will this one as well i will know as i i do read intuitively so as i go on with the reading i'll know which you know, they clarify whatever they'll want to clarify. That's it. Um, and <clears throat> I'll just, I'll just uh, let you know how it goes. How you, whatever. Okay. So this is your first card. It is the five of wands. Now, um, I've really learned to appreciate the energies of the five of wands because what they do is they raise our consciousness. Number fives. They show us that. They, they show us that there's some things in our lives that aren't as stable as we would want or as we would like or as we have worked hard for. Now, I wrote a post on my Instagram um, a, a couple of weeks ago specifically about this card, the Five of Wands. And I say about the card, um, <clears throat> excuse me, in that post, I say about the card, um, you have all the things that you've wanted now so what are you going to do to keep them? What are you going to do to sustain them? And this is really the question um, that the five of wands poses for us. You know, you're in the relationship that you want and then the universe puts something in the way to challenge that relationship. You know, you're in the job that you want and the universe puts something in the way to challenge you. Well, do you really want this job? You know, let's see if we give you a horrible boss or we ask you to change, whatever it is. The universe puts challenges in your way just to see whether or not your foundations are secure. It's kind of in a way similar, I feel. Now just making this connection, actually. It's a similar way, well... Maybe similar energy to the to the tower in that it's about removing things from your life that aren't serving you, and also it's about um putting energy and effort into the things that do serve you, and and really have, shines a light on those things with the, with the five of wands. So this month you may be challenged in some way, and it may be related to as other people might get involved with this challenge. I.e., as I said, could be work related. You might have people at work that are getting you down, or family members getting you down. You know, your focus is this month. That's the universe is asking you a question with this, with all these things that might, with anything that might come to challenge you this month to challenge you to make a change. The universe is saying, okay, you're in a situation that you have built that you that you are passionate about. How passionate are you about it? How committed are you to the life that you have built for yourself? That's what the universe is asking. So even though they may seem like they're challenging you, the universe, you know, it might feel like, oh my gosh, I'm getting it from every angle this month. Everyone's wants a piece. Everyone's having a go. 
<laughs> I'm like I'm on Coronation Street. Everyone's having a go. Um, <laughs> sorry, Coronation Street's a soap opera for all my um, American viewers out there. But I think you might get it in Australia, New Zealand. Um, anyway, um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, uh, the universe is always asking you questions with that card. It's not, don't feel like it's a battle um, of wills. It's it's really about you securing the things that you want and you getting rid of the, the things and the people in your life that really shouldn't be there um, any, any longer, okay? And it seems that you actually do do that because look what the card, next card is. The next card relates to um, what or who you could encounter or experience this month. So if this is a what you could experience, uh, this is saying that you could, you're going to achieve that balance in your life. You're going to, you're going to go through the battles of, with the five and you're going to, you're going to come away feeling stronger, more confident, more balanced. There's going to be more harmony in your life with number sixes. There are things that you've, that you've got rid of with a number six, parts of the lower ego that, lower ego needs that no longer needed to be met or that you no longer needed to put energy into and you encounter this um this balance um this this wisdom you know this 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 knowing uh because of the battle that you fought with the number six sixes are i suppose in a way victory it's linked to the six of, of ones i suppose as well isn't it um there's a card that wants to come out to clarify that some of you could be um you know there's a there's a man woman child on this card so you know it's the unity between those three as in in you you know your inner child your masculine your feminine your inner child um excuse me excuse me those things in harmony but also when it comes to when it comes to love it could be indicative of you know people moving away together so if, you, if you're in a relationship um and if you're you have a family for example it might be that you choose to move away from the the, the stresses and the strains the people that are challenging you it could be that there's difficulties within the family there's a card this i think it's this one it could be that there's difficulties within the family um there's arguments around your friends for example or 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 at work that are interfering with your relationship and you and your partner and your and your child potentially if you have one um and your dog or whatever decide to to move cities or to move states or to move countries or to move jobs to get away from the family or the friends or the boss or whatever or that life the things that are challenging you okay so it's a good month because this is this is saying that in love um you are if you're in a relationship you will this is going to be something that's going to be a good something that's going to unite you the two of you anyway you know if you are a single um you know the universe is going to be saying well you know really how much do you really want to be single you might be feeling lonely this month you might recognize that actually even though i'm you know fiercely single and saying how much i love it you know really this month i have felt lonely and i realized that i might need to start moving into a relationship again you know maybe i do need to start dating again or vice versa okay um this wanted to come out yeah <laughs> this one wanted to come out just to clarify this this energy here <clears throat> so you are moving away from this energy you're moving away from the challenges um of the and you're overcoming the the, the change you, you know fives are about number change uh, <laughs> fives are about change and the five of wands challenges us by asking us are there any changes that need to be made and it's and and, and it seems that you're moving out of the that you're moving away from the things that that are causing you upset for some of you this is family <clears throat> excuse me and it's always a shame but it happens you know families are just we're just groups of people that you know have to love each other <laughs> but um i love my family they're fabulous um true truly um <clears throat> excuse me uh but yeah you know it's, for some of you there is there's, there's some sort of friction in the family that, that's getting in the way of your relationship and this is the month that you move away from that so others of you it's friends or it's the situation that you're living in you know you know the, the the place where you live in the streets where you live in the house you know whatever that type of thing you you get it you apply it anyway this is your past um uh your past or your uh the perspective where you're coming from where you stand today and what you're looking at um perspective wise so this could be um there's a card this one uh this could be um you know, there's op there was opportunity, you know, and, and again, you know, this is you moving toward or, or trying to move toward the things that you want to move toward with the two of, of, of wands. It looks like you were successful for it. So it looks like you managed to do that. You managed to, you know, get out of a situation that you weren't happy in or move 
into a situation that you were happy in and then this month is the month of saying again as i said are you really happy in this situation is this really what you want so it, it does look like some of you were in that situation let's have a look so yeah you know that may have meant for some of you then um if we've got because we've got the two of wands there so this is you <clears throat> excuse me having a new beginning and it could have meant for some of you ending a relationship or ending a dissatisfactory relationship, you know, in the past. This could be, you know, you deciding to walk away from the family or walk away from the ex-partner, ex-husband, ex-wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, um, in order to move towards something that is more fulfilling for you, in order to t take up this opportunity. So it looks like for some of you, you did end a relationship or you ended at something that was dissatisfactory in order to have a new beginning. The new beginning is something that you're passionate about, but you'll be challenged this month as to say, you know, yeah, now you're passionate about it, you know, how much effort you're going to put in uh, to keep, to keep what you've, what you've earned, what you've, what you've made, what you've built. So let's have a look. This card does want to come out. So I'm going to put it there, but this is your, um, I presume it's going to be linked to this card. This is your, um, love potential. So this is for the month. So this is, um, <clears throat> this is your love potential or love lesson for this month i.e. what you could learn about your karmic uh, cycle in love or alternatively who or what could be coming towards you um the high priestess is linked to the <clears throat> excuse me the moon so that's water signs so cancer Pisces, scorpio i think specifically it's linked to the water signs anyway cancer Pisces, scorpio um i said about the moon at the start of this reading actually virgo i did mention the moon um, the new moon is on the 9th, actually. So maybe around the 9th, something could be could be happening. Um, I don't know. Uh, the full moon is on the 25th. So again, what could be happening? I don't know around that time. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so this is saying that um, there's, a, there's an ending that's happened um, already. There's an ending that's already happened. There's something that's already happened that's already completed. And it was something that you moved toward um, intu intuitively. And this is really a confirmation that you need to continue to use your intuition this month when you move, when you're wanting a union. You know, the high priestess is number two. So number twos are about commitments, are about um, partnerships, duality, two, two of. So for some of you, it could be someone from your past. You know, this is... <sighs> She has this the veil there, and that basically behind, if you can see, and that guards the underworld. And the underworld is, i.e., your internal, uh, your internal um, emotions, how you process them, and also past life memories, um, or younger life. You know, when you were young, uh, when you were a child, I should say. You know, young. You know what I mean? I don't know why I'm explaining, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, for some of you, for the love potential. And the love lesson for this month, it's saying um, that there could be someone that you're, that, that links, that you meet um, or that you met um, and that you felt there was a, a past life connection with that person or you felt like you, or, or, or if you don't believe in past lives, that you uh, just felt really drawn to this person. It was something you couldn't explain, something you couldn't understand. Um, and do you know what, Virgo? I forgot to say happy birthday. It's your birthday, isn't it? Happy birthday, Virgo. I wrote it down as well. I always forget. Happy birthday, Virgo. Um, and this is, is basically saying that the potential for the month is maybe there is someone um, that you're thinking about, that's thinking about you, that, that the relationship ended and was over. There's lessons there. There's lessons from that relationship that you can learn. There's lessons from that that past relationship that you can learn. Whether or not they're coming back... Um, is it i don't know let's have a look at this <laughs> whether or not they're coming back i don't know and neither do you and neither do they seemingly so for those people that are separated from somebody um or wanting a reconciliation from with a past partner it's obviously it can go either way um you have to trust your intuition though so it's as if you actually already know there's fond memories there's, there's there's fondness there between the two of you but this is your challenge and it's a devil so for some of you you could be dating um a, uh, a Capricorn but this actually could just be um, a toxic situation as in like um, a codependent situation codependency is like you need somebody else in your life not you but this is what codependency means you need somebody else in your life to make you feel good 
about yourself and they need you in their life to make you to, to make to, to help them feel validated or help them feel strong so that's a kind of a type of co a codependency and um, they could just be though you know really uh this is the devil energy is also about like you know practices that can be uh detrimental to us in our attempts to have a relationship so for example it could just be that you work too much like you just you're always always working you put all your effort and energy into work so that when it comes to actually wanting a relationship or being able to have a relationship you just like don't have the time you don't have the energy this is a challenge so there's something that's, that's stopping you from either from moving in the direction that you want to or that's challenging you uh, challenging your ability to move in the direction that you want to move in as freely as you want to move in um yeah it could be drugs could be alcohol but it could just be as i said something as as as, as simple as you work too much or you you're always busy you know you, you you come home from work you go to the gym you're out with your friends you you know you don't you don't have the space in your life you've not made the space in your life and maybe that's slightly out of fear for some of you maybe there's somebody that is from the past that you do um still have feelings for that you are still tied to and it's maybe that that is the the toxic not the toxic but maybe that's why the devil energy is showing up you know i'm just taking your thumbnail um maybe um you know it's that connection with some with an ex-partner um that or, or that not knowing whether they want you back or not knowing whether you want them back um that, that that's maybe stopping you from potentially moving forward and that's the thing that is, is is toxic if you will your last card is your advice how to achieve balance and this is you this is um the universe saying uh you need to claim your personal power you know this is about beauty and it's about understanding is number six the position it's about balance it's about harmony is the number six and with the magician energy it's about saying that this is something that you need to embody you need to embody this it, it's interesting isn't it when we've got one and number two so i love it when i love it when we, when we have when it goes like this you know number one is masculine it's action it's active it's taking action toward the things that you want to do and number two is um okay now how do you feel so you've taken that action now how do you feel um you've, you've you're creating you're manifesting x so and now how, how do you feel about the fact that you've manifested that so i suppose a similar message to to this the universe is challenging you to ask that question yourself this month um you know maybe some of you did end a relationship and actually you regretted ending that relationship or someone ended a relationship with you and actually they're regretting the, the action that they took and it if if you want to get back with 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 the person from the past if you want to reconcile i don't see a reason why you couldn't do that um it's definitely something that you that you'd be able to do but i think that there's needs to be an, an acknowledgement of the of this energy i think for some of you there is for some of you there's other things that are going on beneath the surface that are not there you go these choices i've had this a lot today and fear you know choices and fear um that's the I think that's the tie that's keeping you tied. So for some of you, it's wanting to go back to a, a different relationship or or hung up on somebody else. Again, you move out of that energy with the Eight of, of Cups, but that's what the toxicity actually is. Um, it's not like drugs or... It could be, but whatever, you know, it could be. But maybe... I don't get that. I'm not saying whatever and, and being dismissive. I'm just trying to say to you that it's not always drugs, sex and alcohol, uh, the devil energy. And, and in this instance, it, it, it it's about this you know being feeling stuck feeling that you can't um you're not sure if you can go back or if you can if you, if you should move on you can't make a decision that's the thing that's keeping you tied um locked uh, and blocked and not being able to, to 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 bring things together but when as i said you've got the action and you've got the the intuition so move toward what you're inspired to move toward and there is movement this month because we do have the six as i said of of, of um sword so move toward uh, the person or the situation that you want to move towards and away from the things that 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 are um that are not serving you anymore and if that means making a decision to to go back then you 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 make that decision you make the decision you know you you be truthful with yourself about what it is you want and and go towards it it looks like an interesting month for you um <clears throat> i just see if there's anything else for this magician energy because the magician is really saying that you have it i, I kind of don't <laughs> i hate saying oh you have it within you it's active though 
it's number one, so it's an active card. It's the beginning of, it's the initiation of um, manifesting. And this is saying that you can begin to manifest whatever it is you want in the relationship that you're in. And if you're single, if you're dating, you can actually manifest the thing that it is you want. If you're in separation with someone, for example, which I get the sense that some of you are um, with the with these cards over here. Um, the universe is saying that you, you have, you, you, you can't, you need to take action. That's what this card's saying. It's not saying sit back and just chill. There you go. We've got one, two, and three. And whenever I love these three, these cards together, this is a be this is a beautiful combination of energies. This this is like um three this is like three of pentacles um supersized in a way. These three cards, yeah, three of pentacles supersized. Oh, I'm gonna take under the thumbnail. It's like oh, it's so beautiful. This energy. These things lead to transformation. Once we embody these three energies, once we go through these stages, they elicit a transformation, the new world. So whether that's reconciliation, whether that's you've been single for eight years and now you're suddenly, <clears throat> excuse me, falling in love, whatever it is, this is a complete change, a complete um, change of circumstance um, that's completely different. And you're you feeling good and happy and positive and confident in that new situation, in that new circumstance. So I'm glad I pulled another card for you um, to clarify the magician energy. You know, we've got balance. We've got harmony uh, by the end of, <coughs> excuse me, by the end of the month. We've got balance, we've got harmony. And, you know, there's 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 the harvest moon, actually. Ha. The full moon on the 25th of September is known as the harvest moon. Um, and this is about harvest, isn't it? Reaping what you saw, getting the rewards um, and you know you and it's enlightened as well so really maybe around the time of the, of the 25th is the time that you start to manifest and is the time that you start to see the results of the action that you've taken as with the energy of the magician on your side okay i hope you enjoyed that virgo i hope you have an absolutely lovely and splendid um birthday month um i am going to be posting another video um with all the with all the zodiac signs which is going to look at the some of the astrology for the month of september It'll also, I'll also make a few announcements on there um, because people have been asking me for free readings. So I'm going to be doing some additional readings on the channel as well. Um, you'll also be able to comment on that video because I'm thinking of disabling the comments on all the other videos just because I've got a website to write and I've got to, to complete and I've got my, my Facebook and all this to do. So um, it's, uh, it's a lot of work actually, plus the personal readings. Um, if you would like a personal reading... Um, my it's all the details are below but it's it's keywisdomtarot at gmail.com and obviously you can follow me on instagram and facebook at Inst keywisdomtarot thank you so much virgo have a fabulous september my darlings and i'll see you all next week with your additional bi-weekly readings uh and don't forget you bi-weeklies up until the 11th of september are still available to view my loves take care my darlings happy birthday virgo bye